In tonight's top story, a man is sentenced for his role in a head-on crash which killed a local man, and it happened while he was driving drunk. NBC6's Delano Henry joins us now from Barksdale Boulevard where the crash happened. Delano? That's right, Jackie. There was not a dry eye in the courtroom today for both families. Even the judge says this is one of the toughest cases he's had since he's been on the bench. I don't hold any hate in my heart for Larry Daltrey. I don't, but it is very hard to forgive. On October 27th, 2017, Larry Daltrey made a decision that would not only change his life, but a family's forever. When I woke up from the noise, it was just smoke everywhere. And the first thing I heard was my son screaming, Mama, I can't breathe. Veronica Frugé was in a vehicle with her husband, Josh Frugé, and their son when they were hit head on by Daltrey. Her husband, Josh, died in the crash. They were on Barksdale Boulevard heading home from the fair. And we were two blocks away from our house. More than a year later, Heather Hammond, Josh's sister, is still trying to comprehend what happened that night. To lose somebody so tragically, it changes your whole entire life. The mothers of Frugé and Daughtry were outside of the courtroom hugging and crying after the judge sentenced Daughtry to four years in prison. Well, you could tell um, <clears throat> how much he struggled with it to find a just sentence. Hey, he made some comments about the defendant's uh, military record. I think the defendant has PTSD, not that that excuses or justifies any type of conduct. I didn't find any of that too relevant to the case. Um, he got behind the wheel of a vehicle and drove drunk. There's nothing that judge could do. The death penalty wouldn't bring my Josh back. Both families reached a civil agreement before the sentencing. Daughtry has to pay $25,000. Back to you. So sad. Thank you very much, Delano.